Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedaytullah with a new video. And as we have started Tekla Structural Designer Tutorial Series, so this is its lesson 8. And in this lesson, I am going to discuss with you a most important thing that is very very important. And in our previous video, if I open our software, so in our previous video, you know that we have draw our full structure. I mean, we have created our model perfectly. Okay, but uh, we didn't check that our model is okay or not. Okay, our model is okay or not. If okay, then fine. And if if not okay, then how will solve that problem? In this video, I am going to show you that. So, if you new here, you can watch our pre previous video. And if you're a civil engineer, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, this channel is for you. So first of all, I'll click here, open. Then this is our model. If you, my, I mean, if you uh, watch my previous video, video, then you know about that. So I'm going to open that, and after that, um, you see here, this is our model. Okay, this is our previous model, and if you new here. I will request you go to our playlist the playlist are given in top of all playlist in description and I mean um, on this software name and was our previous video that uh, your clear will be I mean your concept will be very clear so now suppose this is our model how will understand that our model is okay or not okay after create a model just we have to ensure that my model is okay so how will understand that this is okay or not so to understand that go here click model and here is option validate okay validate you have to click here validate validate the structure for physical model issue okay so we'll double click here and uh, after that we'll come here validation just will if I zoom that we'll click here plus sign and we'll see here our model is okay right? our model is okay but they have one issue suppose our model is not okay then you will see here some cross sign okay you will see here some cross sign so uh, actually my model is absolutely okay uh, that I have created in my previous video that's why it's not showing any sign here but suppose you have a cross sign here now how will solve about that okay so suppose uh, I will create a artificial problem uh, in that software okay I mean in, in that uh, model then after that I will show that how will solve that so if you civil engineer don't forget to subscribe to our channel your subscription your like your comment inspire us for the next work so after that suppose I will draw a beam here okay so from here I will draw a beam here suppose this is a beam and uh, from here from that point to that point double click here okay uh, I will draw a beam here then press escape after that you cannot understand about that okay you cannot understand about that uh, I mean uh, they have any problem or not you can I'm not uh, cannot understand about that okay so uh, how will find out that after creating model we have to go here go to model here uh, sorry uh, just click here model then go here validate then click here okay then click on validate now see here in first time you have seen here that they have a uh, uh, tick sign but here is its cross I mean they have some problem in our model okay they have some problem in our model now how will solve that okay how will solve that problem so to solve that problem just uh, it's showing that validation is not okay then we'll see here general there have also a in model they have also a cross and also in analysis also a cross so first of all we'll go here 
I mean we'll click that plus sign in general and again member collision it's showing that the two member have a common length just see here uh, who is the center line clash so we'll plus here just again a plus here now see here just see here here is the issue here is the issue uh, it's showing us they have a problem okay there have a problem now the question is the question is who is beam who is beam will delete they have the it's showing just click here uh, double uh, double click here and it's showing us they have a problem I mean they have a problem on that beam and if I uh, also click here they have also it's showing they have two problem okay they have two common uh, problem so it's showing two member have a common line with and it's showing my two member have a common uh, length it's common length and it's showing the common length in who is the uh, center line clash it's also showing the same notice but the question is who is one we will delete okay who is one we will delete so we have to ensure about that that who will uh, delete so to ensure that go here okay I mean uh, come here and take your mouse here it's showing you 5 B 1 okay 5 B 1 it's showing a total beam are 5 B online okay so if you uh, I mean uh, if you take your mouse here it's showing 5 B 2 so like that way it's showing you 5 beyond 5 B2 and if you also take your mouse in here uh, if you take your mouse here they have uh, 5 B5 and here but the question is in this line in this line they have two things first of all SL1 I mean here the slab on okay this is the slab on and there have 5b1 5b1 I mean they have uh, if I escape press escape so just press escape now there have so if I take the mouse here it's showing uh, we have a beam line uh, that have 5b1 okay 5b1 this is the 5b online beam and also sl1 but if i come here okay uh, if i come here uh, and it subs it have select the single one and it's showing b51 okay it's showing us b51 i mean uh, which portion are uh, select uh, i mean here is a b51 if we uh, press the arrow i mean down arrow so when we have selected B 5B if I zoom that just when we have selected B 5B uh, 2 3 and here B I'm uh, sorry 5B 1 okay and if we select a slab this is the one slab and this is the another slab okay so I I mean with which one will work I mean who is on either Access on so suppose if we go here 5b1 and if you see here that if you see here they have two beam which have collision so we have to find out then who is on is right and who is on is wrong okay so I'll find out that just we'll uh, take our mouse here and we'll see here that who is on is wrong so just uh, we'll go I mean you have to press your mouse i mean sorry you have to uh, press your arrow key for keyboard uh, up arrow uh, and down arrow so uh, down arrow then it's showing us it's have selected from i mean it's have selected full full beams then uh, that means our number 5b1 beam are the original one and when we have selected 5b23 then it is not the original one 
I mean uh, sometime ago which I have draw that is it okay so it is clear now which beam we will delete that so it is clear to us now that we will select that beam 5b23 you are right 5b23 so I'll just double click here and now uh, see that it have been selected when I have double click here and it has been selected then uh, move your mouse move your mouse a uh, little bit and just see here we have selected the number uh, beam or you can uh, take your mouse here randomly that's not problem then uh, uh, press the arrow I mean down arrow or top arrow to select your the exact one I mean we have to select 5b23 so here we have selected 5b23 by pressing uh, our down arrow then we have to just press delete okay we have to press delete so enter delete and just see that your problem have solved okay your problem have solved now again if you click here validate now see that your model is okay okay and there are no cross sign I mean your model is absolutely okay for now so in this way we can solve our problem I mean our collision or any problem on that model we can solve that so I think that is helpful for you and if you think that that is helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video comment our video and don't forget to share that video with your engineer friend or your a well known engineering related groups or anywhere. So, your own like, on comment, and on subscribe inspire us for the next video. I mean, uh, inspire us for next video. So, thank you, thank you very much. Yes, well, stay connected till next video. So, in next video, I'll show that how we'll apply load on our that exact model. So, thank you, thank you very much for your time.